Lotto dropped a song called Big Mama. We heard her perform. We heard her perform it a bit at uh, the BET Awards. Yep, she did. And um, you know, we didn't we didn't talk about it much. Right. So uh, I went and watched the video. Did you watch the video? I did. I'm so glad you did because it would have sound weird if only I saw the video. So okay, I'm gonna start with love. Please. Um, uh, the camera work was great. Uh, they, it, I don't know if they used GoPros or if they just really did well with the cinematography, but there were all type of, you know, POV angles. And at one point you see her homegirl with the selfie camera type of thing in the mirror. Uh, there were lots of, lots of camera angles here. And, uh, I appreciate that it was not your typical uh video when it comes to the visual of it all you know um there were lots of different cameras used here and lots of different camera work and i think that's cool it wasn't just a copy and paste video in that sense it was kind of, um, it kind of it, in that in that sense it reminded me of damn i can't remember the song now what was the song with um sexy red and drake and SZA? Rich Baby Daddy? Rich Baby Daddy. I see why you say that, but this was more... Another idea. Yeah, I see what you're saying with the POV of it all. Um, mm -hmm. I think the camera work was much better here as that one. That one hit its mark. They were aiming to come off as a home video with Rich Baby Daddy, and it did. Um, this one came more across like we're using GoPros and cool gadgets to do all of this different camera work. Uh, fishbowl lenses and different things. Yeah, all of that stood out. Money was spent. That that stood out. Um, I don't know what that first song was, but I was really confused by whatever that first song was that played because I was like, just not what I remember her performing at the BET Awards. I was really confused. So, what's interesting to me is that. Spotify, so I watched the video. I noticed that too, that there was this first part and then it, the beat changes. And maybe you could look this up. Spotify, when I went on Spotify and found the song, it's, it says Big Mama Second Half. So I'm wondering if the whole song is Big Mama? I'm heading over. The reason I couldn't figure it out on my own is because I do not have Spotify Premium, and I didn't okay. anywhere else. Listen, oh. don't worry, I am on route. So it's it's not like you know we we literally do have different Spotify accounts. All right, don't worry. <laughs> oh, so Big Mama is three songs. It says here, it says Big Mama, then it says Big Mama first half only. Then it says Big Mama second half only. So let's see. Let me let me let me click on this. Hold on. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's right. It. So that's what the video starts with. Now that's I just pressed Big Mama and that's the first thing that played. That's two minutes and fifty four seconds. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what happens if I press first half only. Okay, so first half is one minute twenty eight seconds. Yeah. Second half is also one minute twenty eight seconds. Okay, so they took two songs and put them together. So Big Mama is really two ninety second songs, I guess, because they're both one song. Yeah. Oh, so this is weird, and this is confusing to me. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, well, it seemed like the second half then is what she performed at the BET Awards. Yeah. Um, Which makes sense, because that's where she actually says Big Mama. Right. So I have mixed feelings on this. Well, now that I know that, I have mixed feelings. I didn't know that prior. Okay. Um, 
Yikes. All right, well, I'm going to give you my initial thoughts, and then I'll say what I feel now that I see this Spotify thing. My initial thought was whatever's this first song, it, 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 I didn't need it. I wish it would have just started with Big Mama. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. But also, I was disappointed that when the beat did switch, we just got twerking and strippers and parties. Um, oh, well, I mean, it kind of checks out. Bless you, based on um, what she said in the song. You said it evolved? No. <laughs> what did you say? What? I said it kind of checks out based on what she's saying in the song. Yeah, yeah, no, it does, it does. Uh, it but that was that was kind of kind of weird for me. Um, I get it; it's a turn up song. But then my thing is, it don't really sound like a turn up song. Then, it like, it was weird. It didn't really match the energy, in my opinion. Um, and and I gotta be real honest. I don't I don't want to hear this side of Lotto. Um, I, yeah, I kind of felt that way too. I mean, I really like the beat. Of the second one or the first Not one? The second one. Um, I like the beat. I just kind of wish that Lotto would have used the beat differently. Yeah, it's weird. Like she's she's a skilled she's a skilled writer, and I didn't I didn't really enjoy this. I get the marketing side of it. You know, we spoke about the girly rap and the way a lot of them are being positioned. I but what I liked about Lotto was that she didn't she didn't have that same positioning. So. But I get it. I mean, Big Energy was a specific type of record. Yeah. I just felt like, dude, I don't know. I'm conflicted because I feel like if you have the ability to do more, we should see more. Mm-hmm. But I I understand that she may not want to be classified as a rap city, which we might champion rap city, but the industry does not. Mm-hmm. So I get the conflict. She's a young She's a young lady, and that's how they are doing things with the quote-unquote girl rappers right now. Uh, but I, I was disappointed by that, and uh, it was like, all right, this is. It, it, I'm gonna be honest. It came more very, very birdish to me, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. I was like, oh, okay, the super long nails, and then whatever your bikini your bikini bottom saying body was fine but then like at another point she was making sore we saw the panty part and then like just it yeah. was weird all the girls twerking on the stripper pole the strip club the ones being spread across her arm i was like what what, what happened here i didn't enjoy it and people will probably say i'm an old guy i'm a hater fine i just feel like that's fine if that's what you feel and if you'd enjoy the song then you should play the song. I'm just saying that I think certain people have to do the gimmicky shit. Certain people have to do what they do in the industry because they don't write. They just have writers. And if they want to be successful and continue along the path that the label has put them on, then they have to do that. But I think Lotto doesn't fall in that category. I think Lotto is capable of more. And it's like, okay, so... Is this what we're going to get? Like, we're just going to get the bird stuff all the time? I think it's corny. And I, I'm disappointed for a lot of I think I have mixed feelings. Because I think that it is summertime. And I think that, you know, it's the beginning of July. I, I expect to hear Turn Up Records right now. Um, sure. So... I'm not necessarily mad at it because I think that Lotto is probably one of the few that has some sort of balance. Like she'll do the turn up record and she'll twerk a little bit, but she can also hold her own on other songs as well and like really show her talent. So, so while I understand that, you know, that may not be, if you're looking for the more uh, experienced, the less bubblegum or rap type of thing, then this is not. Well, this, I'm not only. I'm not this, even really talking about bars. I'm talking about the hypersexualization as I, well. No, I, I know what you mean, and bubblegum is probably not the right way to say it. But I just mean like the rap girls have a. There's a. There's a formula. 
there. And the clothes, the dance moves, the the up tempo beats. It's a thing. We've talked about it. We just talked about it last week. So mm-hmm. I totally understand like tr- wanting them to get away from that, especially the ones who are super talented. But I also understand like wanting to put out a summer record and sure. That that that's all I felt like when I watched this. I, again, I feel like the beat was to me was waste wasted. I guess. Yeah, um, I don't. This didn't, that beat didn't really say turn up record to me. It didn't, and I also feel like there's something else he could have done with that beat, including um, the Big Mama chanting part. Like that, you could still use Big Mama, Big Mama, Big Mama, Big Mama. Yeah. And do a bunch of other stuff with it. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I didn't really, it's cool. Like, it's a fun, it's a fun record. Um, I agree. I don't think that all the rap girls need to be hypersexualized. We talked about this last week. Um, but I'm also not surprised. Um I think there was something very specific. There was a very specific message in this video, in this song. And, you know, so, yeah, I wasn't, (laughs) we had, we, we, you and I, for the podcast, we kind of make a list of the, the, the music that we're going to cover uh, beforehand. So we can obviously listen to it if we haven't. And, I was not feeling it today. <laughs> I felt like, mm, okay. <laughs> this, I don't know how to react to this. Like, I'm not mad at it, but I just, I just, you oh, know, no, I'm not, I'm not mad like, either. Just kind of like, okay, I, I, I get it. Um, I get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad either. I'm just disappointed. I feel like if you're capable of more, I'd like to see more. Yeah. So, I mean, I like I, I like that she, like I said, I I like that she, there's a balance to her work. Um, so I wasn't so disappointed as much as I was just like, oh, all right, I see what kind of record this is, and that's, and that's okay. Like, if I was out and having a good time, then maybe this is the thing that I want to hear. I don't frequent clubs, but I guess if I went to one and this came on, like it would make sense to me. Um, gotcha. They 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 give you the whole Miami experience in the video, so you know you know what type of time she was on uh, with this one. So yeah, 